Strong winds move throughout the Central Valley this morning. Fox 26 News reporter Myra Franco fills us in and shows us the local damage it all left behind. Myra. Monty, according to the National Weather Service, different parts of the Central Valley saw wind gusts between 20 to 41 miles per hour. Right here in Fresno, we hit 41 miles per hour. Take a look at the damage some of our Fox 26 viewers shared with us of reported down trees and crews at work. High winds Monday morning knocked out several large trees and crashed into some complexes at Sage Stone Apartments in Clovis. Many uprooted trees were spotted around the complex courtyard. PG&E was called out because one of them took down a transformer and a power line. Angelica Talavera shared this video with us. A power line knocked down off of Clinton and Weber in Fresno this morning. Willow Ridge Apartments in Fresno also took a hit. Landscaping crews were there this afternoon cleaning up after this massive tree fell and damaged the corner of an apartment complex. Carports were also damaged by knockdown trees. Crews say they were called out this morning when it happened. They say they were just there last week because another tree had fallen due to the storm. At another apartment complex near Chestnut and Lane, Two large trees fell on the apartment complex. Vane Hernandez, who shared the photo with us, said the winds were so strong it woke her up. Thankfully, no one was injured. But the recent series of storms that have brought damage and flooding have also been a blessing, bringing much needed rain and fuller reservoirs. From a statewide perspective, um, total statewide storage is at 91% of historical average. So certainly upticking um, towards more average conditions across the state. The California Department of Water Resources today estimates Millerton is at 83 percent of capacity and Pine Flat at 45 percent. Glancing at our California snowpack, we are seeing more than double the average in the Sierra Nevadas and the highest ever mid-January snowpack in history at 245 percent of our normal average. But this blessing could also have a downside. Us at the stage for potentially dealing with um, flood issues as we move through the snowmelt season for those snowmelt basins. But state climatologist Michael Anderson says after years of drought, it's a good problem to have. We've seen a lot of areas kind of pivot from a drought response of trying to recover storage into changing to doing some flood releases as they manage the reservoirs that are, are fortunate to have recovered the storage lost during the past three years of droughts. So if you have noticed rivers receding throughout California, that's because of water making its way through the watershed along with flood releases, officials say.